This is the fucking map screen in Zelda fucking Phantom Hourglass. You can see on this fucking screen there are many things you can do in it that you couldn't do in a normal map screen. You can write on the map. So you can just take little fucking notes for yourself and then you'll be more insured that you will not forget what they said to you when you went to sleep or got out of your car. So, here I am in the fucking boat. The boat's course, in this case, is determined by the touchpad. And it's very precise, and they can make very precise turns, as you will see in the fucking course of fuck, which I have actually brought this boat on. The boat has a cannon which you can install onto the motherfucker, and you can shoot at the shit around you just by clicking the touchpad, and it'll fucking fire a cannon off in the direction of the place that you hit the fucking touchpad. Very useful for collecting money. Now the other good thing about this fucking game is there's no wallet. God, that was gay. I hated that shit when you had to find more and more wallets and every fucking rupee the earth found was worth like nothing. In this game, you can go over the 1,000 mark with your fucking rupees. So I'm guessing the most you can hold is 9,999 rupees. And they don't make you search around for fucking purses to carry that shit in. So as you can see, my navigation has been followed to the fucking letter. I think we're at the letter U right now, in this case. And I'm heading down the path of fuck. Yep, we're just heading into the fucking U. And you can see both of these at the same time, if you're playing the actual DS. Because you can look up and down, but it's pretty obvious that in a video like this, I'm going to have to show you one screen at a fucking time. Other things to note, there are very strange creatures and people who are willing to sell you shit out in this fucking endless sea. But, it does still take a motherfucking long time to travel, and it does still involve a lot of fucking boat riding, so if you had a problem with that, you might want to think about it before you buy this game. This is the boomerang. The boomerang is truly magical, as it follows your exact command on the touch screen. Look at that precision. Unfucking believable. Normal enemies can be hit with several different sword slices, including a spinning attack. If you do the spinning attack more than three times, you'll become dizzy. The fucking boomerang can bring items back, and it's generally what you would expect from a normal top-down Zelda, except you're controlling every motherfucking thing with the fucking pen. You can dash with him by tapping on the sides of the DS two times, he'll do a roll, and that's very convenient as well if you want to get out of a tight spot, which you'll see me do later. Fucking boomerang can cut down trees and shit. There are other items that he gets as well. A shovel, a bomb bag, and some other fucking things. I'm assuming he'll have a bow and arrow, but I haven't seen anything of it yet. So, I just have to wait until I get a little farther in this game before I give the full item demonstration. Now what makes this game different than the other Zelda top-down games is this fucking time limit. As you can see, on the map, I've written a very fucking important note to myself about this time limit. You are gonna want to stay in certain areas where you're in this phantom zone. You've got the phantom hourglass. They called the fucking game phantom hourglass for a reason. Well, this is why. You're gonna be in this fucking Metal Gear Solid style mini game playing with the fucking phantom hourglass. If you're not on one of those fucking purple spaces, as I'll show you here, your time is running out. You only have 10 minutes. So stay on the purple spaces when you're thinking. Because this is a fucking puzzle during this. And you're gonna wanna fucking stay off the purple places when you're moving or getting something done. As you can see, the only enemies in this place are these fucking knights with their field of view. Much like in the very popular Metal Gear Solid games. As I mentioned before, you bitch! You can't fight them, they just fucking own you and then they take away your seconds and then walk away. If only they were this nice in real life. Cops, that is. Not fucking knights in shining armor, obviously. If they just hit you once and then let you go, instead of taking you to jail, think about how much easier life would be for everyone. This is 
especially criminals. So anyway, you've got to fucking figure out what switch opens what fire, which opens what fire, which fucking disables what wall, which opens what other wall, which gets you the key, and the whole time you've got to avoid these motherfucking Metal Gear Solid Knights. Their fucking field of vision. What makes this worse is before the Phantom Hourglass existed, going into these fucking areas without the shining light just meant that you died. So, in the beginning of the game, when you don't see the fucking Phantom Hourglass and you come in this place and your hearts just start fucking falling off the face of the earth, you'll know that you're not supposed to have the motherfucking Phantom Hourglass at that time. So deal with it. So how the fuck do we open this door? These are portable fucking ghost circles. You can see, I made one. Ooh, I'm a ghost. And that's how it's open, and we have the motherfucking key. So let's go over and get it. Should be pretty easy. Yes. All in all, it's pretty fun playing this game. Even though it's annoying as fuck that they're not actually challenging enemies that we're fighting. Instead, they are motherfucking Metal Gear Solid enemies. That just fucking make you look like a dipshit. He should be able to fight that guy. I could take him. I know I could take him. There's no way they'd program him to be hard. That's for fucking sure. So anyway, now we go up to the fucking locked door. And we're on to the next fucking part of this level. This level goes down at least four floors. And it looks like it goes down more floors than that. What the fuck do you expect me to do in this video? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing through this whole motherfucking level for you. So fucking lick a nut. When I'm fucking through this entire goddamn game, I'm gonna show you the extent of all of Link's abilities. I'm about halfway through in this case. So you're just gonna have to wait for the third and final installment of the fucking Zelda Phantom Hourglass smashed update, you bitch.